Hi everybody, this is Solar Girl. I was asked how to do the wiring on our panel system and I thought I would do a basic rundown on how we connect our solar panels or how you might want to connect them. So first, um, this is a solar panel link here and before I get into anything, this is just for demonstration so if you want to have uh, a certified technician come and do yours. This is just for demonstration, so don't hold me to it. So, um, this is the back of a solar panel, and each solar panel should come with its own set of wires coming out, and it will be a positive and a negative wire. And to tell, usually it's marked right here. It's marked already. See, it has the red for positive, black for negative. If it doesn't have stickers on it, usually at the end it'll also show, see the red here for the positive. This one doesn't have any red on it, it's just black. So that's how you can tell negative, positive, even if you didn't have any stickers. Alright, hi everybody, we're back. This is my solar array outside. It has 24 panels, 12 on the top and 12 on the bottom. And we wired these in series and in parallel. And I will show you the back side here so you could kind of get a little bit of a better idea of how that looks. So let's come around here. Oh, here, this is a good spot. Um, see the wires coming out? That's what I was explaining earlier. Each panel has its own set of positive and negative coming out there. And uh, I can't see good around the pulse, but uh, we try to tie them up so they wouldn't be tangly. <clears throat> anyway, try and follow where they're going. And you can see that that big mess is <laughs> it's just a mess because we tied it up there, but it's good. <clears throat> anyway, we uh, hook these up in a series, three sets at a time. So there's 12 panels in a row, and we took three of those panels one two three and hook those in series connecting in series can cause an increase in the high voltage but the current stays the same okay so we did there's 12 panels so we did four sets of three four sets of three all down the row in series and then we connected each set of three together in parallel, in parallel, to connect all the 12 panels together onto one charge controller. Now let me go over here. Okay. Alright, there's our charge controllers right there. We have Outback FlexMax 80s, I think they are. Let me check. Flex Max 80s, yeah. And let's see. Each of them has a limit, and you have to make sure you don't go over the limit of the voltage. And it'll tell you on whichever controllers you got. On ours, our voltage limit is 150, and our um, current limit is 64 amps. So uh, the set of 12, we have a set of 12 panels on each one of these. So 12 for that one and 12 for that one. So we had to make sure that it stayed below the limit of the 64 amps and 150 voltage. So for us that worked perfect having the series, three in a series and then connecting them in parallel and then running 12 on each of our uh, charge controllers here. Everyone is going to probably have a different setup so don't this is not like written in stone for everybody and I'm sure there's maybe another way you can do it but for how us we have done how. it I don't know what you were trying to do yours the same way or not but uh, like I said it's different for everyone depending on what size your controller is how many panels you have how much wattage each panel is and of course how you choose to set it up you know how you're gonna are you going to do sets of three, sets of two, no sets, are you just going to do series or in parallel? That's pretty much up to you and your system. And if it's a bit too much for you, I definitely recommend you 
uh, getting a technician to help you out here. Don't be doing it by yourself. I definitely would never be doing this without the help of my husband. So <laughs> if you do not have someone that handy at home, I would highly recommend you to get an, a technician to help you. You do not want to blow up your expensive equipment such as your inverter or huge battery bank or of course your charge controllers or everything else. So don't take a shortcut about this. If you're still confused, please comment below and my other more savvy solar could answer your questions in the comments below and you can leave me some questions and I'll pass them along to my husband and we'll be happy to answer them as best as we can and let me just go around the side here again I'm not going to talk about the other set of panels over there because they're on a different system so we'll just stick with this and uh, let's see again you can't really see how we connected them from this big bunch of wires but I tried to explain it so let me know what you all think and again we have 24 panels so 12 on each charge control it's very important that you do not put too much on each charge controller so make sure you check out the whole handbook that came with your controller if you're attempting to do this by yourself so you do not go over the limit. Whoever you got your equipment from, they should have some kind of tech support to help walk you through it. If not, I would recommend going to Green Garden Chicken. And I know some of you guys recommended uh, Outback and other people, they do have good tech support. So definitely get some help if you are still in the dark about what you're doing. All right, like and subscribe, and that's all for now.